Hey, this is YBR with Beam and G Drive, and today we're going to be taking a look at a map known as Test Track Work in Progress or Crash Hard 0.1. Yes, I know it says authors there, but that's just a mistake as far as I know. So let's go. Let's start things out by just saying full throttle. I'm not even going to bother changing the truck out or even upgrading it. I'm just going to take this stock truck and we're going to go as fast as we possibly can in it, which really isn't that fast because it is the stock truck, which isn't known for being fast in any way whatsoever. But it is fast enough to have some fun and give you a good idea of what this map is about. So what is the map about though? It's basically a collection of mostly straight roads that are in various states of decay and deterioration that you can drive on. Some of them have little things like potholes, but most of them have really big things like this. Giant holes that you have to fly over. And I was doing the strategy of full throttle the whole way, which isn't going to work out well right here. When we hit this ground, I'm sure the truck is going to get ruined. Oh well. Keep it up. Keep it up, truck. Go. Oh, no. I hit the brakes. I got scared. That's cheating. I hit the brakes. Oh, well. We're still going to finish, right? And by finish, I just mean get to the end. Which we will do, because that is the last jump, if I remember correctly. And the end is just... we Actually, well, it's not really the last jump, because if we keep driving to the end, there's a hill which we can use as a jump. But basically, it's the last thing that can take out my truck before we get to the end, except for stupidity. And me, like, saying, I'm going to steer really hard right now and rolling or something. So here is the hill. It's coming up. I can kind of see it through the fog. The really, really dense fog. And up we go. One thing I will note, because the fog is so dense, you get a huge frame rate on this. Like, I'm pretty much always hitting 60 frames per second because of how dense the fog is. And right now we hit the water, but the truck didn't like that. So we can go ahead and reset the truck. Uh, windows are blown out, so reset it again. And now we can go ahead and do a run on the other side. So let's go ahead and just drive the truck over here. And we'll change the truck out to be a, um, let's go with a Moonhawk. And we're going to get the V8 Special. I don't really know if uh, the Moonhawk would be able to do this, to be honest, because it doesn't have that much suspension travel, which means when it goes over jumps, it might just bottom out and destroy itself. Right here, though, we have a bunch of potholes. You can do this in two ways. You could just charge through them and hope nothing breaks, or you could try to go around them safely. You could tell which way I tried, and how well that worked out. We spun out. Thankfully, though, the car still drives, so we can keep going. If the car was broken, well, that's that's not good. We need a functional vehicle, and ooh, that was not good for function of the vehicle. It was a nice hard hit. But once again, we have a functional vehicle still, so just keep on going. Nothing will stop us except a break in the vehicle, which right there could be... Oh, go, go, go. It's still good, so we keep driving. That's a hard hit. Can you survive? Yes. Moonhawk's doing good. I don't think any other of the uh, more car-like vehicles, you know, like the Corvette or the... Oh, it just died. But I was going to say the Corvette. Grand Marshal, Bolite, all those things. I don't think they would have been able to do it because they have even less suspension travel. But right now it's broken. I could hold the gas pedal down all I want. It's not going to make us go any faster. I could get to the end. It would just be miserably slow. So instead of going miserably slow, let me just reset right here. And we'll accelerate to the very end. We have a little bit of a jump we can do. I'm quite impressed with the Moonhawk right there. Though. That was good. Get away, mouse. I didn't think it could do it. So over here at the end, you kind of just fall off the map, if I remember correctly. There's no jump or anything like that unless you swerve way off course. Yep, see, there's the end, and if you swerve, you get a little bit of a jump on that hill, but otherwise you just fall into the water again, which sometimes glitches out the car, sometimes doesn't, as you can see right there. It did not. So we can go ahead and reset that, and we're still halfway through. So actually, let's go F7 to reset back at the top, and now we can go to the next one. For this one, I'll get a little uh, a car that has a little bit more suspension travel, but not a lot. And I think the only car that really fits that is the uh, H-Series Off-Road Edition. So let's go ahead and grab that. And I don't want Jet Black. I want, well, not many, not many choices, so we'll do Flame Orange. Now, let's see. Whoops, it's not Escape. Sorry about that. Let's see how this handles this road. Go! So I honestly don't remember too much what the third, ro um, third road is like. 
I remember the first two pretty clearly, but this one is kind of a little bit of a mystery to me. So we're just kind of charging into this blind, full throttle. Not a care in the world, just hoping I don't die. That's really how it goes. And so far, so good. Nothing's happening. We're flying a little too high right there. That was lucky. And again, a high fly, but we still can, can drive. Oh, no, water. That water made us, like, stop. That was... That was weird. The water just said, no more driving. Will you stop here? And I lost all my momentum, which means these next jumps are even sketchier than normal because I don't have enough speed. But I made it. Somehow. And this is what the driver would see right now. He would be some amazing driver. Oh, no. I thought that was the last one. I guess it wasn't. I should not have been looking at the interior view because I did not see that coming. Doesn't matter, though. You can't stop the 8 Series Off-Road Edition. It's strong. And just for fun, I'm like trying to ride up on this wall to get some rolling or something happening. There we go. Roll it. Yeah. And it'll still drive. I could have also tried to jump over there, right there. And I still could. I just got to back it up a bit and then spin it around. I said spin it around. I don't care if you're damaged. You, sh you have no excuse to not grip the road. And then, up we go. And down we go, apparently too. Into the water. And that's that road. It's funny the way the car orients itself so the tires are pointed upright, kind of floating it. I just noticed that. It's actually, something's up with the water's density, I think. Because this car is not sinking, and the tires are able to just hold it up like a boat. If this could be incorporated into a map somehow, you could probably do something really clever, like intentionally doing that. I don't think that was intentional. It's just something interesting I'm noticing. Now I wonder, what would happen if you put the car on top like this? Ooh, interesting. Interesting. You can make a car boat or something. I don't know. That's just something to look at later on. Uh, car is dead. Reset. And on to the other ones over here that you can't normally see. There are actually some more roads that you can play around with over here. These ones I have even less memory of than the one I was just looking at. So maybe I should get something that's uh, guaranteed success or at least helps me get success as bad as I drive. So let's go gravel D-series. And as usual, I stick to stock cars for things like this because they work as a good baseline vehicle. Since I did the last three with the exterior camera, we could go ahead and try the interior camera on this one, but I can almost guarantee you that we will just crash miserably. And by the way, if you don't know what I mean when I say baseline vehicle, I just mean a stock vehicle that most of you who have seen a BMG Drive video will know how it performs. This is not a roll. Now that's a roll, but that's not the kind of roll I wanted. I can't tell what's going on, but I'm sticking to the interior camera the whole way. Unless it feels like the car is broken, or I... Well, I'm not even going to do it if I can't see nothing. I'm just going to keep trying. Like right now, I can barely see the edge of the road. So it's just like I have no idea where I'm going. Like I'm basically looking out my window to the left to see where the edge of the road is. And I'm just driving based on that. I can't see a thing. Oh, I made it to the end though, it looks like. I think. Okay. Man, this thing's durable. Like, I don't know exactly how damaged it will look right now, but it feels like it's been through a lot, to, and it still seems to drive. It doesn't look as damaged as I expected, to be honest. I thought it would be a lot more damaged. Um, so, that's, that's impressive. Anyways, we'll keep on driving through here. We could try to, just for fun, a little bit of air, nice landing. See how much better I can drive with that camera. And I think this one just goes on, and there is the end. It kind of ends up meeting up with the very first road I've shown, so we can, you know, do something fun like try to climb the mountain and roll over instead. But look at that beautiful landing we got. And we can still drive. And now we tipped over because top heavy and steering too hard. But it's upright! I swear, this car is so unstoppable, it's amazing. Uh, but for now, go back to the top. And we got some more roads to be looking at, so let's make our way to those ones. I think there's like one more, maybe two, if I remember correctly. But we have to go and find them. Uh-oh. 
Where's the other road? I thought there was one more. Unless, oh, I know what it might be. It might start later on or something, I think. Because I swear there was one more road. When I was doing some things before, there was another road. There it is. See, I can see it now. Get to the road! Oh, that's not how it was supposed to go at all. Oh, well, you tried. You can just uh, move it over to the road instead. See, you just couldn't see it clearly because it was so far away, I think. Here it is. So I'll place the car here, reset it, and away we go. And if I remember correctly, this one is basically just a really, really long straightaway. So there's not much that'll happen on it unless you uh, make something happen by, like, driving off the edge. Which I might do, because, you know, driving off edges is usually fun. At least for me. So we're just going to go full speed. Actually, I think it curves eventually, so if I keep going straight, eventually I'll miss the road. And just like that... Yeah, there we go. There's something. Got to fly a little bit. And I also got to ruin the car. I am kind of curious, though, what will happen if we hit that water at a very high rate of speed. Because normally cars don't float in water, so there's definitely something up with the water. The question I have is, what will happen if we run into it at a high speed versus normal water? Will it hit like concrete or will it hit like water? So, let's find out. Eh, seemed to hit like water. It did stop us, and I think the damage was mostly from the rock. But it's good to know because I really wasn't sure what would happen. So let's get the uh, SUV out the water. And it looks like the SUV might be, like, a lot heavier than the uh, other truck, so it actually sinks. Or maybe this water functions properly. Either way, nothing of interest happens, so we're moving on. And I think that's really all of the main roads to show off. Like, there are a couple of crisscrossing roads here and there, but there's not that much interesting on them like right here we have another road but what you gonna do on it it's just a little whoop and you're done that's it so it's like well there's that although this section right here would have been pretty good for hitting the water too late now though and again the floating vehicle so strange so very very strange i don't know why it does that and if we do this oh it's kind of crooked so that don't work but anyways i'm pretty sure it could float upright too if it wanted to and it can rev the engine and do absolutely nothing. So the, for the next thing I want to try is actually going back up it. I think only one of the roads is actually probably going to be able to do this. But we're going to try it out anyways and see what happens. So I think this is the road that we might actually be able to go up. If I remember correctly. Oh, that looks difficult. Just Well, okay then. Apparently it's not difficult for a roamer. Roamer just... And they're difficult. I drive right over this all day. Let's see you drive up that one then. Oh, a little bit of damage, but it did make it. And it continues to drive. We can make it back up, actually. Get out of here, mouse. I thinking mouse is always in the way, but we can make it back up. We actually did make it back up already. Isn't this the end? Yep. Oh, then we can hit this like a jump. Fly! And there's nothing over here but water. Oh, well. And a glitchy water. I think that has to do with the glitchiness period, like the the density and stuff. That makes it more likely to glitch out when you hit the cars with it. I think. Alright, next thing. We're going to go this way. And then skip across the, the water. Nope. Not at all. It didn't work out. I was wondering if it would, but it didn't. And again, the car's like, I'm floating! How do you even... How do you physics, car? Somebody got to teach you. So we're going to keep trying to climb this place, but it looks like we're not actually at the bottom of this one yet. We can keep going forward a little bit. I'll probably crash trying to go forward. See, but that one to my side, I don't see how you could possibly do that one in reverse. It's like, yeah, okay, um, let me just accelerate and slam into this wall. Now that worked well. No, it didn't at all. So I think this is the only one that might be able to go back upright, but I've never, I mean, go back up to the top, but I've never, never actually tried it, so I can't say for certain. And I'm stuttering all over my words, and I do apologize for that. So I guess we'll go to about right here so we have enough time to get, gain speed and try this out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't want to tip over, because that is exactly how I can roll this car easily just for fun. So here is the first uh, obstacle. No problem there. Going nice and slow over it to make sure we don't get damaged. Uh, next one, same plan. 
little more bumpy, but make it made it made it made it. There we go. Thought I was gonna go bad, but it didn't. It saved itself. It wasn't me. It was the car. Wow. I am getting lucky today because I was kind of flying through the air and I couldn't do anything and I was just staring and I panicked and I just like stopped clicking anything and I made it. That is great. Like, I am unbelievably lucky. I, I can't even believe that. Oh no. Even that. It did it. It got all the way up. And with virtually no damage, like I see a tiny scratch on the uh, back, but that's really about it. Oh, oh, we gotta jump. We gotta jump. Eh, more of a crash and then roll, but whatever. And then glitch. Just for laughs, let's try to do the other one. You gotta go fast. You gotta go real fast. Oh, this one has a thing over here even we have to deal with. Okay. So I'll set the car right there. Because if I go any farther back, it really won't be of any benefit because we have to go over the bump where I have to slow down. Otherwise, we'll probably have something terrible happening. So we go slow, go through here, and then full throttle to the next section where we'll probably just slam to the, uh, the mountain or road or whatever. Like, I really don't think there's enough. Yeah. I don't know what I expect. I mean, that's really what I expected. I don't know why I bothered. So there we go. Next thing we could do is, uh, where can we, how can we get to the top again easily? I guess there is no easy way because I didn't save a location up there, so I gotta fly. Or I could drive. But I've already done that, so I'm gonna fly, and this is taking a while, so I'll just, uh, get back to you when I'm there. I'm glad I edited that out because that took a lot longer than I expected. I'm just sitting here twiddling my thumbs like, hey, we're going, we're going, we're going. We finally got here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and spawn up a Romer V8 sheriff version and that is going to be for me because this map does seem to have a navigation graph attached to it which means the ai should probably be able to navigate it to some extent so we're going to go to the ui editor we're going to add app and then we're going to put ai control to shove it to the corner and we're going to go ahead and pull up the navigation graph so you can see it does exist so the ai should be able to navigate this so go ahead and put it off we're going to tell them to just go random and i'm going to follow them and see where they go. They already missed the uh, turn. See, if I was a cop, they'd be arrested already, but I'm a nice guy. I'm like making sure they don't... I'm waiting for them to break the law first, I guess I could say. Unfortunately, I am underpowered compared to them, so they have an advantage there. And they couldn't do this corner either. They're, they're AIing things up, aren't they? But now they're going. And I'm doing my best to trail them, but they are fast. Oh, come on. I can't even see them. Well, I mean, I can, but it's like I can't tell what they're doing. Oh, okay. They did not do well at all. They flipped over. How did I do? Oh, I'm doing great. I didn't flip over at all except for that part right there where I flipped over. Aside from this part right here where I'm flipping over, though, I didn't flip over at all. Which means I can go and arrest this fool. You're under arrest. Uh. I'm the best cop ever. Stop trying to go that way. You're under arrest for going the wrong way. Go the other way. Alright, I guess I gotta go uh, AI to disabled and then to random again. There we go. Now they're going forward, which is what I wanted. And again, they're so fast. Can't keep up. So the first one, they didn't do so well. They just kind of went full throttle the whole time and then crashed. I'm assuming it's going to be something similar on this one, but again, I can barely see them. This is why you don't do cop chases in a straight line. It's dumb. Like, all that happens is they drive far away, and then when you can't see them, something bad happens. So right now, this is AI controlled. I am not driving this. That is entirely the AI, and we're just going to watch them from here, because driving with the police car and trying to chase them does not work out well, and they drown their car. How's my car doing? It's drowned too. So that didn't go well. Oh, hey, they're able to still go somehow. I thought the car drowned, but apparently not. They just hit the water and appeared to drown. So they can keep on going and, well, actually maybe finish this. Come on, AI, you gotta get it finished. I'm believing in you here. Good job. 
where's the uh, the road end up taking them? So eventually they're gonna hit that road, and then are they gonna go right or left or? Okay, they're spinning around. I have no I have no idea where they're going. This is gonna be interesting. Supposedly they're on waypoint 13 of 37, so they have some sort of plan. This is really interesting. Oh, they missed their turn. I'm just watching the AI drive now. I'm not even doing anything. I'm just watching. I'm so lazy. Not much is happening anymore. They're just driving on the straight areas, which is boring. Very, very boring. Do something interesting, man. There you go. And that was not nearly as interesting as I was hoping. That was boring in, in the end again. Here, how about this? Instead of having a cop car, we'll have two AIs driving. I'm going to tell him to stop. For now. I'm going to make... Hey, that's not how you stop. You're under arrest. You just slammed into me. Idiot. Alright, so we're going to go navigation graph off. Go ahead and parking brake, parking brake. Gonna put you to random and you to random as well. Oh, gotta do disabled, then random. And he's going in, they're both going in up that hill. Okay, that'll work fine. As long as they go the same path, I'm happy. He's like, oh goodness, they're already crashed. Here we got the two idiots called the AI attempting to navigate a road. Oh, my red car was doing so good, too, and then the other guy messed me up. Alright, so red's in the front. I'll be green, so I can see them both at the same time. They're going to take a jump, and, well, they don't understand that they should slow down. Oh, that's beautiful, though. They both did, like, a flip in the exact same way. I kept rolling, though. They kind of went stop. They kind of landed solid. I say me like it was actually me driving. I'm just watching. All right, let's try this again. Reset them. They got different paths they're going to be taking. Apparently, green is all ruined because of that first hit. Red's going to keep going, though. I should actually be doing the road to my right. That's what I should do because I already saw they did this road. And they went who knows where. So let's do that instead. We're going to just uh, pop this car over here say stop and we gotta bring the other car over to here as well he just flies it's like totally random okay you're here you're not there you're there and now you're ready to try to navigate nice nice try this one again random all right now they are both ready to go in hopefully togetherness hey red I'll forget you then. Oh, he's like, I don't want to bottom out on these potholes. Now he's like, never mind. I'm just going to go full throttle through these. I don't care. So Red, I don't know what he's doing. He's probably crashing or something. Flipping upside down. Green, he's just driving good. Yeah, I don't know what is up with Red. All right, so he's going to... See, this? these roads, they actually seem to slow down a bit when there's a jump coming up. They're like, oh, where? That they need to slow down. Not that much. Oh. That was a good try, I guess. All right. On to the next road right here. Try this one out. How's the other AI doing? You have fun with that, buddy. <laughs> he just flips over the second I look at him. Looking good. Didn't flip. That was actually very close to flipping, but you didn't. Oh, interesting. He only has four waypoints. Oh, wait, he's good again. He's he, he's good. Whoa, 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 where are you going? No, what did you do? Well, I think that's enough of playing with the AI on this map. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Until next time, this is from YBR. I'll see ya.